religious book of the Imidwat, the sun is born within the body of the big snake that's around the world and known as the one that bites its tail. For the sun boat enters before dawn through the snake tail to pass across the body and the spinal column of the snake. Then it comes out in the end from its mouth and the death accompanying its trip and it's a process that reflects the time subsequence and the infinite eternity and the continuity of life in a continuous circle of life and death locked within the body of that huge snake the symbol of infinity which bites its tail there is another tale of its being born in the figure of a small calf born of the cow of the sky it grows during the day until it becomes a bull to inseminate his mother the sky cow which in turn give birth to him in the new day the newborn son god was pictured in the shape of a young calf according to the walls of the tombs of Deir el Medina from the time of the new kingdom like the tomb of Sen Nejem and Eri Nefer and in some of the papyri of the 21st dynasty the tombs of the new kingdom in Luxor situated on the west bank of the Nile team with scenes from the Book of the Dead and the Imidwat and the Book of Day and Night and the Book of the Cave each depending on the will of the Pharaoh and owner of the tomb the work in preparing the tomb starts right after the Pharaoh sits on the throne so that he can guarantee that his final resting place will come out finally according to the design he planned either in its construction or in the scenes that cover its walls.